the other boat. And rule number three, there is no smoking or vaping or any other type of tobacco use on the boat. That's pretty much it. So with that being said, let's begin. This last building here that is surrounding us is our famous River Center Mall. Hence the name River Center, the River does go through the center of it. So you can't see it from the inside, you can only see it from the outside. And over here to our left and underneath the bridge where the river flows out of underneath the mall. I know, it doesn't look as cool as it sounds, but I still have to show you all the new ways. But, I don't know if any of y'all noticed this island here with a plant on it. Well, every single year during Christmas time, when the city puts up the Christmas lights, the mall puts up a really big tree here right in the middle of it. Unfortunately, a lot of people actually don't even like the island for that very reason. Maybe teenagers, of course. You know, they're always trying to get a picture for social media, so they would climb over the railing, stand on top of the pillar, shut it up on the island. And of course, 98% of the time, they would fall in. So the last time we joined the river was last year in January, and our friend that works with the city here told us, and a little quick went through that, they're way up into the island, 110 phones, just in that little area alone. Yeah, that's not counting the cameras, the GoPro, the iPads, and all that other good stuff. You know how many scooters they had found inside the man-made section alone? 77. Now, I know it doesn't sound like a lot, but they're not allowed down here, and of course, the majority of them were found by the bridges. And of course, inside the mall, we have over 100 retailers, not counting guys. We even have an iMac meter, we have an AMC meter, we have a phone by the we have a Damon Buster, and we have a Bagel Rat all right outside. And of course, every single day and day with that same time, ever since 1988, our iMac shows a movie, even when no one's there. Can anyone guess what movie? I'll give you two hops if you get the right one. Yeah, the battle of the Alamo Price of Freedom. Y'all get too hot. Oh. What the? Now over here to our right, I see the statue of a man holding a baby. What? This is St. Anthony Zimbabwe. He is a patron saint of lost items and small children. And he is who San Antonio and the river are named after. But of course, if you didn't know, San Antonio was named after the river because it was here first, of course. And he was a gift to us for the 1968 World Fair by Portugal because and after he lived back in the 12th century, he was from Lisbon, Portugal. And fun fact for y'all, his real name wasn't even Anthony. His real name was Fernando. And fun fact number two for y'all, if you want a boyfriend, I know he was trading him upside down, he'll bring you a boyfriend guaranteed. But if you want to tell your house, all you got to do is bury him in your front yard, feet towards your house, and he sells it just like that. And it really does work. Now, of course, he does a whole bunch of other stuff, like help you find your things. But if you want to look him up, see what else he does, that's what I do. But over here, see what right is on the street level, you're going to see a church peeking through right up there. This is St. Joseph's German Catholic Church. Now, it's German because it was built back in the 1800s when the majority of San Antonio spoke German. So of course, they went to all people working for their native language, so they built theirs right down here. I don't know if any of y'all been on the street level or all of it. If you haven't, you may have noticed this is a church offering in the middle of it. That's the one. Of course, every single year, the mall doubles and triples their money to buy off the church for little air of worship. But they say no because they still do practice of the same in English and in German. They even have an all male choir that performs there once a month at the end of the month in German. But coming up to our ride and on the street level, you're going to see a squiggly orange sculpture peeking through right up there. This is known as the Torch of Friendship. And it was a gift to us in 2002 by Mexico, saying even though we're not a part of Mexico anymore, we still stand on good terms. But I do have another question for everyone aboard. Is anyone's birthday today? Two 
because the roots of the cypress tree shapes the island like a heart. Also because over 300 weddings happen here every single year and over 400 proposals a year. It is said to bring good luck to you back all the way to the Mexican Revolution. But of course, right next to it here, this is known as the Tunnel of Love. So if y'all are here with your loved ones, go ahead and give them a kiss, give them a hug, a high five, a pat on the back, a fist bump. You can slap them up on them, kiss them my love.
But right in front of us here is this big giant red building. This is our Bear County Courthouse. That is B E X A R. It is the largest, oldest, and continuously operating courthouse in Texas. Now, as you can also see in front of us here that there's a traffic light and it's not on. Well, that's because this is to control one of our buggies to let us know if it's on or not. So, for this part here, I do have to hop my horn here really quickly so nobody gets scared. <laughs> And we are now entering into the 14 to 25 feet deep of water. Yes, it's all natural. So back in 1922, there was a huge flood in the downtown area. Above street level, it was under 9 feet of water. So from 1922 to 1924, the Army Corps of Engineers in the city of San Antonio worked on a flood control plan. So they had put two flood meets on the right side of the river. But if you look behind us, way back there, where you kind of see the drop, that's a 15 foot drop along the shore. We don't go that way. We even put these drain holes here on the wall so the water from the street level can also come down here. So when it starts to rain really, really hard, the flood gates will close. When they're all closed, we'll send the signal back to that one over there to lower just a few inches. So the water from here rushes down over there and it eventually ends up in the Gulf of Mexico. Of course, back then, we believe that the flood is going to work. So a lot of people left the downtown area, they can very, very long into the pool. And coming up to our right, this is the Jury Club Hotel. The Jury opened up in 2007. But of course, before 2007, this area that we are in, that's the area we just came out from, there was no sidewalk. So they had built and donated the sidewalk to the city and it cost them one million to do so. Of course, before that in the 30s, this was the Alamo National Bank building. They still have the same sign up in the front to this day. They even have the deposit box still there. So right in front of us here, you can see those little light poles. Right next to it, you're going to see this really big tree. Right next to it, you're going to see this really big tree. This is the oldest tree here on the river walk over 350 years old. Over the side of the itself. Now this tree was actually named after Ben Malam after he was shot by a sniper that was in this tree. This sniper had shot Ben Malam after he was crossing over the bridge after he had gathered three the bridge the river after he had gathered three hundred volunteers to bring back with him. But of course the sniper was actually trying to shoot anyone trying to cross the river. Anyone meaning any Texan. And over here to our yeah, right has the corner here. here. This is Husband's Oasis. It's a tiki bar. The very new here to the river walk. They want to come back and check them out. Now they do have indoor seating as well as outdoor. They also recently started serving food. So you have to come back and eat a favorite track of food. Let me know if it's good or if it's just good because those people were drunk. But coming up to our ride, a little old building here. This is the Esquire Tavern. The Esquire is the oldest bar on the river with the longest wooden bar top in Texas at 110 feet long. So of course the oldest bar because it was open during the Prohibition. And the only reason why it was able to stay open was because it was a barber shop. So of course back then they would come in and ask for a special haircut. And they come out without a haircut. With just a little simple tear And right in front of us here, is the last location that we're going to pass by today. This is our Aztec on the river because we are located right behind Aztec Theater. Now, if you look all the way up to the third floor there, you can see the Aztec head sticking out. It's just right up there. And of course, the brick building behind it is Aztec Theater. Now, they just recently reopened up for concerts and comedy clubs, so if you ever happen to come here to see someone you like, you want to go underneath this first fire escape after because I need that two doors. And that's where the famous people can get an end from. So, right in front of us here, this footbridge might look familiar to some of y'all. If you've ever seen the night, but if you didn't know, the bridge is featured in the movie because this is where the real Selena and Antonia Chris Pettis had got engaged. Now, fans are coming to stop, but traffic and all engaged on the bridge almost every single day.